Hey, Katya, this is so exciting to see know, you again. I know, I know, same it's, here. It's been, it's been a while, Katya. When was the last time that we were, uh, that we were together? I think the last time was in, 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 in Zurich. Zurich, a year and a half ago, I think. A year and actually. a half ago. Yeah, at time this, flies. At the Samba uh, meeting, whatever, uh, what, what it was called. Yeah, we were yeah. having vegetarian dinner at Hiltel, I remember. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That was so exciting and I was so happy yeah. to connect with you a little Same closer. Here. And um, well, you know, that's the way the universe works, doesn't it? Yeah, you, you connect with the people with whom you are on the same wavelength. Absolutely, and, yeah. And that's why I, I, um, I've always felt um, really lucky to, to be co in contact with you. So Katja, tell us. Same here. <laughs> where are you from? Yes, and your English is so amazing. I just heard. Tell us where you're from. Thank and you what so you much. Do, and I'm welcoming you so, so, so. So Hatzlich, I don't know how to say that in English. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Can you say a hearty welcome? I'm not sure, actually. A heartily welcome. Well, it's kind of it's kind of square, you know, like. <laughs> I know what you mean, though. You're, you're anything but square, right? <laughs> anything. Yeah, but. exactly. Right. So uh, thank you so much for having me here, Judy. It's a pleasure. Always a pleasure to have anything to do with you. And I remember oh. vividly your live singing the first uh, two times that we met in real life. You oh, yeah, your... was it, I think you heard me in, in Hills so I, I, yes. when I was performing there. That was quite something. Judy sang to the entire restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> People were in for quite a treat other than their vegetarian food. <laughs> but anyway, I am Katja. I'm from Germany originally, but I live an international life much like Judy here. I have a Dutch husband and a bilingual kid, and we speak Dutch, English, and German at home. Wow. Lived, yeah, I lived in London for nine years where I wrote my PhD, darling. Oh, oh I didn't you. know that. Well, there you go. I'm Dr. Katya. Oh, my gosh. I should make more of that, right? <laughs> yes, you should. You should. You should just hang it out all over the place. <laughs> Dr. Katja Bronkost. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I'm still 12 years old inside. That's why I'm <laughs> <laughs> it kind of feels off. But anyway, I wrote my PhD on Rilke and Nietzsche, which is interesting in terms of music because oh, we have there a poet, Rilke, and a philosopher, Nietzsche, both of whom had aspirations to be a musician, especially Nietzsche. He wrote of his first book, The Birth of Tragedy from the Spirit of Music. It should have sung. Oh my God! He had to sing in Zollen. He was <laughs> friends with Wagner, and he was in okay. love with his uh, wife Cosima. And um, oh, he's such an interesting guy, Judy. If you let me, I'll talk about Nietzsche all day long. But oh my God! I'm here to talk about <laughs> yoga today. Yeah, we're talking about different well, story. Yeah, about how, how we can uh, help singers, sorry, sort exactly. of thing, right? Yes, just so to briefly finish uh, that little story, I left London again and I became self-employed a couple of years ago or five years ago, actually. And I'm now a copywriter and a yoga teacher and a musician and very happily multi-passionate. And I run a small branding agency called Bright Idea together with my husband, who is a web designer. Oh, really? And that's about it. And the, the brand of yoga I specialize in, well, the school of yoga, the tradition of yoga is very uh, classical. It's a classic uh, Hatha yoga, according to Krishnamacharya. And I am studying with the Mohan family and uh, their branch of yoga is called Svasta yoga. Svasta is Sanskrit and it basically refers to our health, you know, holistic health. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, they work with sound in particular, which lots, lots of people in the West have kind of lost that original element of yoga, but sound originally has been completely essential and elementary to ancient yoga. Wow, that's interesting. I was, I was saying, what the hell has this yeah. yoga got to do with singing? <laughs> ah, what no, is she talking about? Many people say that, many people say that because in... <laughs> Many people, even in my own classes, whenever I attempt to make people 
not necessarily sing, but even just to sound, you know, yeah. to utter sounds. They're really uncomfortable, Judy. Do you ever uh -huh. get that when you get beginning singers? Oh, yeah, it takes all a while. the time, because they don't like the sound of their own voice. Yes. And that's tragic, really, isn't it? Because the voice is such a big part of who we are, of our identity. Well, this is it, Katya. This is the this is the schlingende Punkt. Genau. This is the springing of the point. <laughs> the jumping point. The jumping point, because as soon as you open your mouth and you allow your voice to be heard, people can see who you are. Exactly. And that yeah. is what people don't want. People do not want to make mm -hmm themselves visible because they're afraid oh, that yes. people are going to reject them and uh, oh criticize my god them. It's, it's i'm getting goosebumps right now judy because our mission is so closely aligned uh, the claim of our little agency is revealing identities mm -hmm. it's you know designed to empower especially female entrepreneurs wow. to go out there and show their real selves and not mm -hmm. be held back by that horrid fear any longer that I know yeah. all too well myself. Me you know, too, like, me too. We're women, My of God. course. We're ladies. Yeah, well, you know, we're, we're, we, are, we have been brought up to be nice and to be kind and to always not think of yourself. No, 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 no. God forbid, yeah. God forbid that you think of yourself. Mm -hmm. That is egotistical. Even my kids say to me, especially my eldest son says, Mom, you you just egotistical. Like if I say I'm not going to do that, or mm -hmm. I'm going to do this, mm -hmm. or you know, we're so used to sacrificing for mm -hmm. others, aren't mm -hmm. we? We're we're so used to being out also not only as women but as mothers. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. We, double, double, double the right. Fine, Our place yeah. is way back behind the the the, the decimal point and mm -hmm. god forbid if you if you put out any kind of wishes that that yeah. you want to do for yourself or you want to to yes. improve yourself or you want to you know, right and that's why it's revolutionary truly revolutionary i have to be careful not to start screaming because i'm really <laughs> passionate about this as well. <laughs> that's what it is though isn't it it's revolutionary to really know yourself and then show that. And ironically, Nietzsche said that as well. He, he blamed it on a Christian tradition, you know, love thy neighbor. And yes. Nietzsche always said, das du is älter als das ich. We were all brought up, especially women, to always put the neighbor first. But how can we do that if we don't even really know ourselves? So yeah. we, we don't really know love unless we know how to love ourselves. Well, and this yoga is, helps with that. That yeah. Now we're going to come to the point of yoga, yes. but just one last word. Um, I think even eighty percent of women still today still live that way. Unfortunately, at like least if I if I go out into the, to the normal world, you know, mm -hmm. then like I was at a party last week, mm -hmm. at a party another week before, and I got talking to the people, and this woman says, "Yeah, my husband is non privatier," and I said. First of all, I didn't really know what a pre was, so I asked, yeah. this, is a, this is someone who doesn't need to work. I said, oh, mm -hmm. as Arbeitslos. No! <laughs> <laughs> and anyways, long story short, yeah. um, I said, he's not work. he doesn't have to work. He has enough money to, mm -hmm. he doesn't have to mm -hmm. work. Okay. I said, well, what are you going to do now? I mean, you're still, you know, still yeah. young and you've got, what, 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 what's your goal in life? What, um, you know, what's your dream? Hmm. Dream? I don't have any dream. <laughs> Stay at home, watch, watch the, the, the grandkids, walk my dog. Oh, gosh. Oh. You know, I thought, something's wrong with you, Judy. And they started looking to me like I'm coming from <laughs> some kind of a strange planet. You know, and I thought, you know, I'm going to ask some other people at this party. Yeah. <laughs> I went around, I was talking to them, I said, hey, what do you, because this was, a, was this a, a crowd of people between, I would say up, up 50 upwards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I said, well, um, do you guys have still dreams about what you want to, you know, do something special in your life still? And mm -hmm. you got the, I don't have any dreams. I said, what? No, I, I, it's been, I'm fox to fleet. I'm all, I'm just, I'm just completely satisfied with my life. Mm -hmm. I don't have any dreams. The other guy said, I don't have any dreams. And this, this is the question that I asked uh, quite a few people on that mm -hmm. evening, because I thought, um, for me, it's the most, the most 
selbstverständlichste is the most mm -hmm. How do you say that in English? You're, you're the English expert now. <laughs> Crazy world. <laughs> yeah, it, this is the most uh, understandable thing for natural. me, natural, natural, to think about what would you like to accomplish still in life? Yeah. Like, what do you want to do in your life? Maybe you want to go somewhere or you yeah. know, do something special. Yeah. But anyways, I just thought that was interesting. And back to um, back to Nietzsche, saying mm -hmm. that uh, this is uh, uh, where just uh, we just uh, afraid uh, prefer to to please our neighbor and to please conditioning to please our, hmm. right like mm. you, people don't know what they want yeah right exactly yeah they don't even think about it they're in this hamsterrad yeah and they just go on and they don't think about it they they sort of feel a little um you know a little mm. empty maybe mm -hmm. or but but they wouldn't they don't uh, um, i couldn't imagine that you know there's all kinds of life waiting out there for them yeah you know and it's it's all well and good if they truly are at peace and, and yes and content but i don't think they are it's more like sort of a deadened numb sort of state of being numb because sort of being, like, being at peace and being contented in in a sort of calm clear serene state of 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 mental health that's actually the goal of yoga yoga's aim is to unify the body and the mind and uh -huh. most effectively you do that via the breath and then yeah. again sound to close the circle here is is the the one thing that unifies all those three because you find sound obviously in the vibration when we sing when we we make a sound and you find sound in the breath because you can all, only speak or sing on the out breath and then you prolong like you lengthen mm -hmm. the breath which calms down the nervous system mm -hmm. and then last but not least the yogis say our thoughts vritti they are sounds because we think in languages i mean you and i we both know what it's like to think in different languages right mm -hmm. So we have all these sounds we, that completely determine the way we think. And the other way around is beautiful because that means, in turn, we can influence our outer state, you know, the state of our life by mm -hmm. influencing those sounds, those, the sounds of our thoughts, the sounds that we make, the sounds that um, tell us if the breath is going regularly, mm -hmm and uh, quite and calmly and that was that about reminds, in a nutshell what I was going to talk to you okay about. yeah that sort of reminds me of uh meditation like when I meditate I say the words so hum. exactly so hum. exactly right For example yep mm -hmm. and um the thing is what do you think that has to do with singing okay um <laughs> Well, uh, the thing is, the yogis use the breath to help the sound. In, in yoga, when you make a sound, the goal is not a sweet sound in itself. That's kind of a side effect, right? Mm -hmm. They say start, even as a non-singer, start practicing sounds on each out breath. And then combine that with movement. Mm -hmm. For example, every time you fold forward or go down on the out breath, you, you, you uh, sound a mantra. And every time you come up or you go in a back bend, you breathe in mm -hmm. and you um, hold an intention. And um, then the third aspect of the mantra is that you really connect it to your intention. And it doesn't have to be a Sanskrit mantra. I can do one with you now if you want, really simple mm -hmm. one which is actually celebrating the glorious transformative powers of sound. Nada Brahma, it's called, the divine sound mantra. Ah. So that might be a nice one for the singers in the mm -hmm. group. How does um, it go? How do you, how, can, you okay. can you show us? Yes, I can show you. I uh, can uh, maybe ask you guys just to find uh, for, is, is it okay if we take five minutes to just practice this? Yeah, short, sure. Short By the way, I just wanted to tell our listeners that you were also a singer. Yeah, well, you know, not professionally, but I have always sung in bands and written songs, always. At right now, I have two projects. I have a rock band and I have a project which sets um, French Rilke poems to music with a jazz pianist. Wow. 
Yes, we cool. call the Les Chats du Rêve. Ah, the Les Chats du Rêve. <laughs> Merveilleux. Just let, me, just let me check and see if we're on. On. Um, I don't know if you can see if we are um, in online in my group. It says live on yeah. Facebook. Yes. Yeah, but I can't see us in my group, and Let's I wanted to see. Check. Uh, I wanted to see if some people are there that I would say hello to them. Yeah. Let me see. Um, yeah, we are. We are live in your group, I think. Is there anyone watching? Yes, Anne Charlotte. <laughs> ah, now I can see it, Anne Charlotte. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hi, Anne Charlotte. She's in Sweden. She's one of my 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 one of my followers here in the group, and she really it integrates. Cool really great and I'm so glad to see her fantastic yes 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 okay yeah continue we're going to do something now and just a short little yes 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 yes. so if you just we'll take five minutes no longer than five minutes if you just find a comfortable but upright sitting position Mm -hmm. and gently close your eyes and just let your shoulders fall down softly and your hands resting on your thighs And your neck is long, your chin tilts down slightly forward. And just take a moment to watch your breath without changing it. Just feeling, observing the way your breath feels within your body. Is it deep or shallow right now? Is it fast or slow? And does it feel easy or hard? just observing without judging. Okay, and then place your left palm over your belly button. And now I want you with each exhalation, draw in your belly button so your hand follows along, kind of your belly goes in towards the spine and slightly upwards. And you can feel it with your left hand. Exhaling through the nose, drawing in your belly button. And then also take your right hand and place it on your cleavage, just slightly above your breastbone. And now with each inhalation, I want you to make the hand lift kind of make sure you breathe deep into the the upper torso where your lungs actually are, really using all that space and creating a feeling of width, of expansion with each in-breath. And each out-breath, you draw back the belly button. This action will only straighten your spine from within but also help support the tones that we're gonna sing now on each out breath. On the next out breath, just chant. and you help you help that along by pulling in the belly button and with the next with your rhythm in your rhythm with your next out breath and oh beautiful and in your rhythm with your next out breath we're humming on an mmm sound. Mm. Now, one last time on your out breath, just combine those three sounds to. Uh, using the 
lower belly by drawing in the belly button as a sort of stütze. And you can repeat that as much as you want. You can even combine it with a forward fold or forward bend. And now I'm going to sing you the Nada Brahma mantra. I'm going to sing it a couple of times and then maybe from the third time you can just join in. It's an ancient Sanskrit mantra that celebrates the divine transformative powers of sound. Nara Brahma Satanandam Advitiyam Upasmahe Nada Brahma Satanandam Adhiyam Upamahe Nada Brahma Satanandam Adhiyam Upasmahe And then folding the hands in front of your heart. Feel how the sound reverberated in your body and slowly and gently open your eyes again in your own time okay oh that was lovely it was like a little um reboot little, <laughs> yeah a little walk out of life for a couple of mm. minutes it really is uh important to do that isn't it yeah. It takes you out of your head by connecting with the breath. And, you know, mm -hmm. the scientists are proving now what the yogis knew 2000 years ago, that by extending, prolonging the out breath, you calm down, you calm your nervous system right yeah. down. The, the parasympathetische captain, the vagus nerve is activated. Yeah. And then when you fill the upper torso where the lungs really are mm -hmm. on the in breath that wakes you up at the same time. So you achieve that yogic ideal state of sattva of calm, clear contentedness, which is neither mm -hmm. muddy and, and sleepy, mm -hmm. uh, nor too agitated. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it, it's good for singers maybe as a little ritual to calm nerves before Absolutely. hitting the stage. And it trains, you know, the diaphragm by drawing in the belly button. And it has lots and lots of beneficial health side effects. And I just wanted to say my teacher from India, who lives in Singapore now, Nitya Mohan from the Krishnamacharya tra tradition, she's actually coming to a wonderful little castle on the Amazi in Bavaria this June, mm -hmm. 13th and 14th of June. And she does her workshop Sound for Well-Being. Mm -hmm. singers and yoga teachers and everyone was interested and i'll be oh. translating into german beside her and i'm very honored to do oh that oh my gosh could Catch you put that please. in our could you put that in oh, our yeah. in our uh chat Catch I'd love you, to. Do, you, do you have a recording of this beautiful um little meditation which could you possibly um give that as a little gift oh, sure our, i'd love to, to yeah our sure. listeners i'm going to practice that i just love awesome. these these words that you just sang i couldn't i couldn't do it now all by myself but i'd have to i would love to practice that because you know sometimes um in this online world we're in our online business and we're we're trying to do so much and we're trying to understand how this works and how that it's and also head-centered right yeah it's also head-centered and makes you nervous like is soon gonna work mm -hmm. and then is, you know is facebook gonna work and you know sometimes we don't and i say this to all of you out there listening it is time to also take care of your inner so um, your inner supreme 
your inner contentedness, yeah. contentedness, absolutely, so that yeah. you are able to to carry out the tasks that you really, really want that are really in your heart to carry them out because we're we're too we're too focused on yeah. you know running and 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 uh, yeah. not not getting back into ourselves exactly and that's, and that's where mantra helps not just with yeah. the sound and by prolonging the breath which calms mm -hmm. you right down but also it's so holistic because it also connects you to this purpose or intention in this case i think for singers it makes sense to have a mantra that celebrates sound but in in essence, what you're trying to connect with is your higher self, your real self, your purusha, the yogi say, which lives right behind your breastbone in your heart lotus. Okay. And it's a place inside yourself that you have always, you can always access, basically. It's always there for you. And the more you practice connecting, reconnecting with it, we're not adding anything in yoga. We're just taking away. We're just getting yeah, rid of getting rid of, all of the layers of bullshit. The itty bitty shitty committee. Yeah, exactly. Here, right. So I'm yeah. super glad to share uh, that stuff with you guys. I have of the mantra, I have a, a very unprofessional little rehearsal room recording with my pianist, but we tried it out for the first time. It has a timing mistake in it, but I'm sure you won't mind. I'm just going to give you that. And maybe oh, that next week great. I'm making some videos. Maybe I'll share one in the group as well. Yeah. If you have any, any, um, anything that you would like to post in the group, maybe yeah. people would like to know more about you. Absolutely. Sure. Um, and to. more about, because I, I find like when I do a vocal workshop, like on, mm -hmm. on the weekend, I always do a, a meditative uh, relaxation mm -hmm. in the beginning. Because you want to you want to get in touch with yourself when you are a singer, yeah. right? You want to get in touch with your your who who you really are. Completely, and, Judy. I think we're speaking the same language. Yes, yes. Love and it. you know, I did this not knowing anything about mm -hmm. anything. I just mm -hmm. felt this. Like nobody told me, oh, you have to do a relaxation mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, exercise before starting the course. I just. It was just the most normal thing yeah. for me to get people, you know, out of their 50,000 billion thoughts that yeah. are mostly bullshit. Precisely. Right? That, that's yoga. I mean, the first sentence in the yoga sutra by Patanjali is yoga chitta vridi nirodaha, which means yoga calms down the waves of the mind. Right. And what kind of waves do we have when we start to sing? Oh, I can't do this. I, my mother said I can't sing. Nobody, uh, people are going to make fun of me. <laughs> these are these these five thousand, yeah. and they're they're always repeating, aren't yeah. they? But the beautiful thing is about your work and my work and 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 you guys singing out there. The beautiful thing is the minute you actually start singing, it's physiologically impossible to feel afraid any longer, right? Oh, that's interesting. Did you know that? It's actually true. You can't well, feel fear when you're yes, because your mind is taken into the breath and out of, out of the oh, yeah out of the mind actually. Well, I've noticed when when uh, like when I do my my courses mm -hmm. and uh, the people get up for the first time in front of the group with their microphone yeah. and they sing that the song that we've been working on. Well, they're shaking like crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Their their mm -hmm. hands shaking, their arm is shaking, their 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 legs are shaking. And once they have sang the song, and people go, yeah, 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 yeah it was great. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, they're filled with a uh, completely different feeling. And I yeah. think this is what you what you are just now talking about. That mm -hmm. once you start to sing, then the fear is is gone, yeah. or at least. It, you're starting to connect to your yeah. inner self. Exactly. Right? A hundred percent. And I'm yeah. sorry, I'm, I'm just got a phone yes. call from home. It might be my little daughter. Okay. So I well, might have, I could talk to you for like five more days nonstop. <laughs> we should probably, you should come and speak on my page next. Yes. <laughs> I'd okay, love well, invite me, invite me. I'm just going to say, I know that you have to go to a course yeah. too. So where we're going to make it only 30 minutes today. Yeah. I want to thank you so, so much. Thank Katya. you, Judy, for having me. It's been a pleasure, as always. And we'll look forward to connecting maybe uh, privately next week. Hopefully, and, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, post anything you like in the group. I I'm will. sure that people are going to love it. Thank you so, so much for being here. And singers rule.
Yes. And you rule. Have yes. a, a great evening. Okay, take care. Bye. And you, Judy. Bye-bye.